Hello there, this is Daniela from Toolchefs and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to have a look at the context steering module, which is a module based on the context steering algorithm which is used in games. Um, this algorithm is uh, used for uh, uh, you know, finding the best direction for uh, an agent based on different inputs. So as you know, there are, we can have in the crowd different scenarios. For instance, an agent could be uh, working uh, in, um, you know, among other agents. Um, it should avoid these agents, but also should also avoid obstacles like meshes and so on. And it can be quite hard to find the best direction for each agent and also the, uh, each, the velocity of each agent based on one single input, which could be, for instance, the proximity of other agents. Uh, so that's why the context steering uh, algorithm was used, was invented, you know, to um, kind of solve this um, this scenario. Uh, the context steering uh, um, works in this way. So uh, each agent fires a number of rays uh, that is defined uh, by the user, uh, and uh, it, the origin of each ray is the, the actual agent. And then, uh, depending on uh, uh, these rays, uh, two different. We basically the context steering will fill two different maps. One is called the interest map, and the other one is called the danger map. So the interest map contains the preferred direction for each agent. So, for instance, in this case, we have two targets, and this agent sees that this target is closer than this other target. So it will fill a higher uh, value for the for this ray. Uh, for in the interest map and it will uh, feel a lower value for uh, the target that is over here for this ray for the target that is over here uh, and at the, uh, at the same time it also a danger map is going to be filled so we'll, we're going to have a higher value for this ray for the danger because this obstacle is closer uh, than this other obstacle over here then dep uh, depending on the values that are contained by these two maps each agent will find the context steering will find for each agent uh, the best direction to take and now let's have a look at the context steering module. Okay, so now we are in Houdini. I've already created a scene uh, with a simple layout. Uh, I've attached a locomotion module uh, with a curve field. Uh, the curve field is uh, um, using these two curves to give our agents a main direction that so they're actually gonna follow this, uh, this path here. Uh, we have also another metadata module which sets uh, an initial linear velocity for our agents to 130, which means that they're gonna walk. And then we have uh, um, three mesh avoidances for avoiding these uh, cylinders, an agent avoidance for making sure that the agents don't intersect with each other. And finally, we have the context steering module. Um, it's quite important that you put the context steering module as last module. Uh, and this is because it uses uh, um, the result of the previous directional modules that come uh, you know, um, previously in the stack to evaluate the optimal direction for each agent. So if you put the, this module higher up in the stack, it's gonna miss some of the results of the, the, the following directional modules. And most likely also those directional modules that come after will overwrite the result of the context steering. So again, just make sure that the context steering is always the last directional module. Now we can have a look at the, the parameters of the uh, context steering. So let me activate the debug so we can see the rays. These are the rays that we were discussing in the previous slide. You can decide their number with this parameter here. Uh, and of course, the higher the value, the um, more accurate is going to be the simulation, but also it's going to slow down uh, the performances. Uh, here we have a max turn angle, which is uh, the same concept, concept that we used for all the other directional modules. So as you know, during the simulation, an agent could uh, decide you know, that uh, it wants to go from this direction uh, to this direction because possibly it has found this direction to be the optimal direction uh, to follow. Um, as you can see here, the, the variation, the angle variation between these, these two directions could, it is almost 90 degrees, so we would see a very sharp, sharp turn. With the max turn angle, it, we are just clamping the variation for that angle for each frame. So we'll just say, just turn out, uh, of um, eight degrees at maximum per frame. So we, we will see basically just a smoother transition. Um, then we have, uh, we're going to go come back to the danger threshold just in a second. Before that, we have the angle threshold. This uh, uh, value here defines the, basically the, um, uh, the angle used by the context steering to fire the rays. So if you put 90 degrees, it's just going to use basically a 180 uh, angle. But if you want a full 360, you're going to come put 180. Uh, so then here, you can also sorry, drive that, this value with a metadata if you want. Then we have the max distance and the, and the danger threshold. The max distance is the length of the rays. 
and the danger threshold is used um, in combination with these uh, with the max instance. Basically, the context hitting multiply, multiplies the danger threshold with the with the max distance. And if the danger is uh, higher than this multiplication, then that direction will be ignored. Uh, okay, so then we have the velocity threshold, which basically says that if the velocity is lower than this value, the context steering shouldn't affect the agent. Then we have the locomotion, which is basically the same as we have for other um, uh, directional modules. So you can affect the angular and linear, and linear velocity. You can give a minimum and a maximum value, also negative linear velocity maximum, which is basically to say uh, which is the linear velocity when the target is behind the, uh, the agent. Um, then we have a falloff radius, which basically says that whenever an, the agent is cl getting closer to its target by 100 units, then it will, should start, uh, um, you know, uh, fading or uh, blend anyway the maximum velocity with the minimum velocity. Um, and then when it reaches the, the target distance, so when it's closer than 10 units, then it's, you should just use the minimum velocity. Here we have a max linear acceleration also because uh, you can um, clamp also the value of the linear velocity metadata. So the, the metadata we use at this uh, here. Um, um, while uh, in the locomotion, we also have a similar parameter, but this parameter is used, used internally by the, uh, the agent. So it's not actually changing the metadata, but uh, this, this uh, uh, attribute here actually changes the metadata because uh, it, helps, uh, like it helps more like both the context steering and also the agent avoidance. So if we can press play and we can see here, just this frame, we can have a look at what's going on. So here we have uh, some rays, as you can see. So we have the green is the interest coming from, you know, remember like before we were talking about the interest map, the danger map and so on. The red one, the red ray is the danger and the yellow one is the result. So as we can see, can see here, the, the interest is the same for uh, all the rays. Uh, except like this one, they have a, a lower interest just simply because they're not uh, parallel to the current direction. But uh, the, um, what's going on here is that the, uh, the danger is actually higher for these two rays and this is because these rays are intersecting with the mesh. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, as a result here, we have the, the result, uh, so the yellow um, ray that is uh, uh, shorter here because the danger is higher and uh, a bit uh, a bit uh, uh, longer here because the danger is, is, um, is smaller. But uh, uh, of course the agent is just going to follow this direction because it's not intersecting and the result is much higher. So if we press play we see that the agent is actually going around this, um, um, this cylinder because, of, the, because of, the, of that result. And here as you can see here the danger is quite high because the, the mesh is actually uh, intersecting with all these rays. So if now I... Uh, go back to the modules and I disable the agent filter. Also let me disable uh, the debug of the context steering. Uh, we can press play, uh, we can go here, let's press play. We see that now the agents are actually both avoiding the, um, the meshes, but also they're not interse intersecting with each other. And this is all for this video, thanks for watching.